What's up, YouTube? Welcome to R3 Garage. As you can see, we are on the turbo truck and we're going to be working on 4L80E. If you haven't watched the previous video, go watch it. I will have it in the link below uh, in the comment section also, probably, if I don't forget. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, let's get to it. Hey, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the garage. You have a spot. Um, man. I'm so excited. I'm dropping videos left and right. I'm trying to be consistent um, about every day of the week, rather on my Mercedes, Porsche 944, or this Tahoe right here, which we are building. Uh, Y'all stay tuned, man. Uh, this is my broken fleet. Um, there's always something need to be fixed, which I love. I love breaking things. I love fixing things. I love broken things. Um, and if you own the same, type of mindset i am man come over um share it to your friends like and all that good little stuff so let's get into this video guys so guys we are under the tahoe as y'all can see believe it or not we do have the transmission mounted uh we do have six bolts that's bolted to the motor um thanks to my brother for helping me out i really appreciate him uh, we both worked as a team. This ground over here is slightly off, so I had to had I had I had a man handle this transmission. Um, I had a I had a transmission like in a certain position, uh, in a dial pin, and I had it pick up on this side just to get it on the other dial pin and stuff. But we got it uh, bolted. I just need to put one bolt on the top side. And guys, also not to mention this piece had broken so we're going to have to take this off which sucks but we got to do what we got to do and we're going to put back on the original uh, gear selector and if y'all haven't seen the recent videos we already have the wiring and all that um done so we just got to do plug and play and also we do have our cross uh, member uh, that goes across so we ain't gonna be needing this no more. This Harbor Freight cart has done wonders. Um, I'm just surprised. Like I said, on dirt, this transmission was just sinking in the ground. So it would have been way more suitable on the concrete, but it still did its job. So let's go. So guys, y'all see, y'all can't really see, but y'all see the bolts. Oh, y'all really can't see, y'all can't really see. But like right there, that's a bolt. And then that dial pin right there, we got a bolt right there. And then we just got to put one on top uh, right there. It seemed more accessible compared to the 4L60, uh, to, buy, to be honest. Guys, we also have free spin. Nothing ain't locked up underneath here. And I did put some assembly lube on the journal on this other side right here. So only thing we're gonna have to do is just line our holes up and put in our ARP bolts, which shouldn't be bad. We do got a pretty good spacing, but it should bring everything together. And guys, I forgot to mention I had to trim um, my transmission, just the hair. Y'all might not be able to see it, but where the header's at, the transmission would uh, touch, so I had to trim it off just to make it fit. But everything is still nice and clean. And yeah, the top bolt in. And guys, I have the original gear selector on. One thing you have to do is just remove these two bolts, and then this bolt right here, and you good. So guys, y'all really can't see, but man, I got a long behind extension just to get to that top bolt. Um, but we got her tight, but I want to make sure she tight. Just trying to make sure she on her. All right guys, so I'm trying to get this trans mount uh, mounted 
um, make sure you have it pretty loose because if you have it tight, um, it's not going to do you any good. So make sure you just have it pretty loose. Um, make sure the transmission jacked up to a decent height so you can get these holes lined up. Um, also, I'm going to clean up all this wiring and stuff. It's, everything is hooked up. I need to get my heat gun and heat them up connectors just to hair so I can like snuggle them in. And these fittings right here, I should have been got um, well, I got, I got, I can actually probably make some fittings, to be honest. I got to see if I got any fittings up for these uh, 6 a.m. connections right here. So, that's going to be fun. But I don't know yet. But anyway, let's try to mount this bad boy here. So, guys, we got the trans mount mounted. Everything is, like, nice and sturdy. Uh, like I said, make sure this is uh, pretty loose so you can uh, have some wiggle room. Um, thread your bolts through. Um, tighten these up one side at a time. Have it all the way up. Get you a bolt, and there you go. That's pretty much it, guys. So I'm finna end up dropping her down. I'm right, gonna see if she gonna hold. As you can see, she on her own weight. Okay, guys, so the 4L80E is under its own weight. I probably should have painted the whole transmission and stuff. Kind of look all crappy and stuff. But it's cool, you know, it's cool, it's cool. I'm probably clean up later or some other time. But I should have painted it, though. But everything looking neat. I just got to heat them uh, connectors up um, just a little bit because they had that glue and just to slide them in. And we also need to put in our ARP bolts, which I will show you all in a bit. Um, but it wasn't too bad. Um, like I said, I'm on unleveled ground and all, so it made it harder. Um, but if I was like on... Um, a nice behind flat concrete and stuff. Oh my god, I could have did this with ease. It may be a jack, uh, maybe a lift, but still, it would have been ease, no issues. Um, also, guys, keep this, keep these in stock, man. It will save you out of a bond. Um, that top boat I had to use, I don't think I have it in this kit. Nah, it's the other one, but um, yeah, I used one of these uh, Dorman uh, bolts on that top boat y'all had seen but y'all need to keep these uh keep some uh extensions some swivel heads keep out some deep sockets and all that and guys y'all don't have to get the most expensive jack i got this for like 160 i only got like a one-year warranty so if anything happened to it, i can uh turn it uh in and um get a replacement so this thing held up. I'm I'm just really surprised. Um, like I said, it ain't able to do its job properly because we on some soft behind dirt. Well, the the ground is compact, but when you put weight on it, it softens up and all that. But get y'all this from Harbor Freight. Y'all don't have to go too crazy. Um, I almost went too crazy, but I was like, it wasn't. It wouldn't be no point. Um, I might. It would have been probably nicer, but I mean, still do the same job. But now, guys, I need to clean up this area right here. So, so guys, I forgot to mention to y'all the dips uh, tube that we need. Um, unfortunately, my local parts stores did not have what we needed, which sucks. Um, I guarantee if I known um, while I was at Summit Racing, I would have got it. There would have been a couple of things I would have got if I known that I needed. Um, that's why I, I usually write lists down, but sometimes I don't, but I should have. But as y'all can see, this thing is flush, ain't going nowhere. Um, We got to tidy this up neatly. Uh, wastegate go right there. Then we got to get um some spark plug wire sometime, but it ain't important right now. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty damn good. And we put underneath. Everything looking clean, looking minty. I gotta remove this jack right here.
So, as y'all can see, 406 and 480 torque converter bolt kit, uh, ARP. So, let's get to it. So, guys, I got one of the bolts in. Make sure to put some thread tight uh, on there. So guys, that's, um, I'm gonna tighten this down. Um, make sure all of them on there, good. Uh, I'm gonna torque her down a later time. Not gonna do it tonight, um, but shoot, y'all witness, witnessed it. I wish I had a video of us uh, wrestling with it and all, but we managed to get it um, in. Um, man, I'm really stoked and happy on oh, how Actually, everything came out, to be honest. You can't be really disappointed. So I hope y'all uh, enjoy. Um, we still got little things to do under here. Uh, got to install the starter, some time, um, our hooker pipe, which run across some time. Um, yeah. And every, this thing um, moving smooth and all that, too, with no issues. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, fingers crossed on this transmission. Um, fingers crossed. Um, next, we're going to have to do like a segment swap, but we're going to do all that later once we get everything else dialed in. So everything going to take a little bit of time, um, but I'm trying to be quick as possible uh, and all that, um, especially when you have to wait for parts and all that. So i see y'all. I hope y'all have a good night. Um, I'm going to have a great night. Um going to sleep good tonight. Um, and yeah, see y'all.